received some uh, Australian spotted jellyfish from Snyder Aquarium. So we're going to unpack them, acclimate them into um, a backup system where they live before they'll go on to exhibit. For our jellyfish, mostly we trade with other facilities. Um, we're culturing here all the time, so we're able to replace a lot of our own jellyfish. But if we want to get something new or we're having bad luck, we bring them in from other facilities. Sometimes there are species that are not very easily cultured, like home jellies, for instance, and we have to buy them from a wholesaler. So we'll call up the wholesaler, order 12 jellies, and they'll just ship them to us the same way in an aquarium. Diehard Aquarium pack up the jellies and ship them to us. So we get them like less than 12 hours later here around 10 a.m. Um, and so they're here now, so we're gonna open up the box, we're gonna look at them, make sure they're healthy, see what size they are. And then we're gonna test the water parameters. So we're gonna test the temperature and the salinity um, and see how close that is to the system that they're gonna be going in so we know how long we need to acclimate them. If they're close, a 10 minute acclimation is fine. If they're a little bit further, they need a longer time period to get used to the new water and the new system. Make sure to take everything slow. It's like if I just threw you out in the cold, you want to be very happy. So, same thing with jellies. Putting it in gently because you just poured it and create all these bubbles. Sometimes you're really good at culturing a specific species or you're just having really good luck at that time and really bad luck with another one. So because I produce a surplus of, say, lion's veins right now, I can offer them to other facilities and trade for other types of jellyfish that we either don't have now or that we need desperately or things like that. Um, and sometimes if you have surplus, you'll just offer it out without anything in return. And that builds what we call your jelly karma. So um, the higher jelly karma you have, you know, people think of you first if they're getting out of jellyfish and you kind of move up on the list if you're more generous. So um, it helps all the facilities if everybody who's culturing puts out their extra animals.